are dealing with issues that are really relatable to, to young people. And well, not even young people. I think right, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, we're and, a pretty healthy uh, audience, even older. Yeah, so. and um, I think people have been able to identify with each of us in different ways and find parts of themselves. You say yes. it, but we did not want to um, unintentionally uh, mimic or uh, or have their show influence our performances. So we we all decided to stay away from their show and. Uh, now since we're done, I, I've actually I, I bought them both the first season on Blu-ray and I've I've watched the first and the second season and I'm a huge fan. I really enjoy it and uh, and it was really um, rewarding to see that that our shows are quite different and that they can both coexist and certainly I know that's the way that their creators feel about it and. Uh, it's, it's one big happy being human family. They're fighting it right now. And, and while there are some notions that we had at the end of the first season, and they, we, we talked about a few things, uh, we actually do not know. Not uh, aside from thing. how they're going to answer some of these, these questions. I mean, obviously there are some really interesting, like, oh God, I was about to talk about what happens at the end of the season. You guys haven't seen it yet? No, 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 no. Don't but there are a lot that. of, there are, there are a few really interesting uh, notions at the end of the season that we really have to deal with in, in a big way. And uh, and I have no doubt that our writers are going to uh, are going to oh, rise to the I see that's the thing. I, I actually love the way that Aiden relates to it. I, I uh, the thing that I relate to the guy with is he's a man of conscience, or at least was before he was turned into this terrible thing. And uh, so I, I think I would I would, I would do my best. I, I just, I don't know that I'd wear a leather jacket. I think it's just, it's, it's telegraphic. It's telling, it's telling people. It's, 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 it's kind of on the nose. You're like, you're like, hey, check, check me out. There's something yeah. about me. Look at his sunglasses. Look at my sunglasses. I don't like the sun. I'm the pale as hell. <laughs> exactly. And I wear a leather jacket. Definitely a vampire. Oh, that guy's a vampire. Yeah. yeah but it's, it's, it's like half and half. Uh, um, Yes, it's a tremendous amount of makeup. Pain. It is. Um, but like Megan answered a question earlier um, about her confinements uh, to the house and her wardrobe being kind of appropriate for the character and helping her get into the character. When I put all the makeup on, I am in a lot of discomfort and, uh, and very conscious of everything that I have on. So it actually lends itself to me playing the pain and discomfort of turning into a werewolf. Um, and so basically what it is, is it's a lot, a lot, you know, a lot of makeup up to a certain point. And then once you get to a certain point, the CG takes over and it takes it to the full wolf and it's, and it's full wolf form, which is totally badass. Yeah. Well, yes. Like, like I said, we, we were, I, I wasn't trying to play her as a ghost. I was just trying to bring the energy of the person that she was in her life. So. Um, in a way, she's very similar to myself, and the way she sort of is excitable, and the way she reacts to things. And um, I just sort of let the writing kind of inspire me, and and I was just you know being a regular person. Uh, it's that much more interesting when they have the visual effects to it, uh, because it adds this element of surprise and, and magic to it, which is fun.